this example, it's called motor with cooling fan. We have two inputs, discrete start and stop, and our program will enable us to control these two discrete outputs, motor and uh, cooling fan, to fulfill these five requirements. So the first requirement, a motor will start when start is pressed, it will stay on once the start is released, fan will start along with the motor, so together they, will, they, they should start. Anytime the stop is pressed, the motor only and the motor only will stop. The fan is to remain on for 30 seconds after motor stops. So as you can see in this example, uh, the start input will start both outputs. The stop will stop the motor right away. However, the fan has to be to remain on for 30 seconds and then automatically it should turn off. Now as you can see, it's another example that's a mixture of discrete IOs with timer requirements. So in order to integrate the timer, we need to ask ourselves the two questions, how many timers we need and the type of timers that's best uh, to be used to make our solution easier. So the number of timers, all what you have to look at is the requirements that involve some timer delay values basically. In this example, we only have uh, the fan to be on for 30 seconds after motor is off. So one, one timer delay, one timer is required. Now, the best timer to be used out of the three timers, 2N, 2F, or RTO, since we want the fan to be on for a certain time after a condition goes to off, so the best approach for this one, or the easiest way, is to go with an off delay timer. And we are going to see right now, using RS logics, how to fulfill this requirement. Now, one more time, we can build the solution for this one using 2N or RTO. However, it's easier using uh, TOF and straightforward. Let's go ahead and see how this one actually works using RS logics. To start the solution, we need to create our tags. So we have start, stop, motor, fan. All these are Boolean tags, and T1 is the only timer I'm going to require in this solution. So let's go ahead and build the solution using RS logics. In the first rung, it's a simple start stop. So we're going to have, I'll do it really quick. So the first X I see is for the start, and the second one is for the stop because it's uh, because it's normally closed switch, and the OT is for my the motor, and the latching is an X I see referring to motor. Sorry about this. Here we go. And in the second rung, we are going to have the motor to drive an off delay timer, because remember. Right now, we want the timer to start timing for 30 seconds after motor stops. So that's why I'm going to go with the TOF timer. So T1, 30 seconds. And I commit it as zero. And to drive this one, the dump bit is going to drive our fan. So the timer dump bit, T1 done, will drive the fan. Let's download this and see how it's actually working. That's good. Okay, so right now by pressing, there's no reset required. So let's press right now, as you can see, it's uh, TOF. So that's why the accumulator starts with equal to the preset value. This makes the down bit equals to zero and the fan is off. And of course the motor is off because start has not yet been pressed. So pressing the start will do two things. The first thing is it's energizing the motor, start, stop, plus it's disable it, uh, it's resetting the TOF timer. Once it's reset, the accurate goes to zero and the dump bit is true right now because it's opposite to TN. So both conditions are true. Motor is on, fan is on, and that's what's actually required. Anytime you hit the stop, and that's what's going to happen right now, what happens? The motor immediately turns off because stop is the only condition that's triggering it. However, as you can see, when the motor is off, the XIC is false, and the TOF actually starts timing right now from zero, aiming to 30 seconds. And during this 30 seconds, the down button will remain set, will remain on, and the f that's, as you can see right now, the fan remains on even though the motor is off. And that's a requirement for how long? For 30 seconds. 
once the accumulator hits the preset value now the dump is zero the fan is zero and that's a requirement that's using the tof okay i'll try and build this one using tn and see how it's going to be different let's go ahead let's see the same problem that we solved using tof but right now using tn as you can see right now since i'm using tn i'm using the stop to trigger the tn and i'm latching it with timer one tt to keep it alive because stop is momentary switch and i need the timer to, to remain on for 30 seconds and i'm using the timer one tt to drive the fan as well so let's see right now if you hit the start let go as you can see the motor is on and i'm using the motor to drive the fan so that this part of the requirement is done both will start immediately once start is pressed anytime we decide to hit the stop it's open you let go what happens right now now we triggered the timer it's running for 30 seconds because of this latch even though we let go the stop it's the latch is maintaining the timer on and that's why i added another branch over here the timer one tt to to maintain the fan on so this one goes okay after it's get to 30 seconds this one off this one resets this one resets and the fan is off so the same requirements right now using tier n so one more time tier f or tier n it's your call let's keep going Thank you.